Should feminism be taught in schools? Yes. Well, that was an easy one. I don't know why it was up late. Uh, I'll see you next Monday then, I guess. Bye! So I guess I should probably actually say a bit more than that. Whilst I agree with Holly that the personal attitude and agenda of a teacher can hugely impact on how our subject is taught, um, I still think that a positive difference can be made by pushing for small changes to the system as it currently is. But rather than teaching feminism 101 as a kind of standalone subject, I think we need to apply feminist theory and feminist ideals to the curriculum. Make sure that history isn't just the history of rich white men. Make sure that science classes don't overlook the achievements of women scientists. Stop dividing sports into girls' sports and boys' sports. Teach better sex education. Teach consent. We did a whole week on sex education and how that needs to be improved, so I'll put a link to that playlist below. Teach assertiveness and body positivity and confidence, and most importantly, media literacy. I don't know if there's still the same snobbery around media studies as there was when I went to school, but teaching kids to critically analyse the media that we're confronted with on a daily basis, that we're swimming in, could make a huge difference. Show kids how magazine images are photoshopped. Teach them what objectification in advertising actually is. Ask them to question why the same type of people are cast in the same type of positive lead roles and the same type of people are always cast in the same type of supporting and negative roles. And this isn't about spoon feeding kids information either. This is about teaching them to question everything and giving them the tools to do so. I went to a Catholic secondary school so I had to take religious studies as a mandatory class and it was those classes where I first had to think about social justice issues like abortion and homosexuality where I was taught to debate both sides of an argument and question why I believed one side and not the other. Now I'm not arguing everyone should be forced to take religious studies like I was. As an atheist I'm actually opposed to faith schools anyway but I do think there should be a class that requires people to think about social issues in the way that those classes did for me. To question their own beliefs and to discover beliefs that they didn't realise they actually had. And that's all about introducing feminism into secondary school education, but arguably you could make an even bigger difference introducing simple feminist ideals into primary school education. The younger you are, the less certain you are of your identity, so you play around with different versions of yourself until you figure out what fits you and who you really are. Your ideas about what it means to be a girl and what it means to be a boy are still flexible and malleable and heavily influenced by the information that you pick up from your surroundings. So it's not unusual to get little boys who, if left to their own devices, will want to put on a dress and play with dolls, or little girls who are happier wearing baggy jeans and t-shirts and climbing up trees. This is something we talked about more in our Toys and Gender videos, so I'll put a link to that playlist below as well. But this also plays out in the other ways we teach children about gender. For example, by asking primary school kids to line up in rows of girls and boys before they're allowed back into a classroom. Reinforcing the idea of a strict binary between two genders. And this binary divide is actually something that's reinforced even just in the clothes we allow school children to wear at all ages throughout school. Through uniforms, or if your school doesn't have a uniform, often through dress codes. Girls are expected to wear skirts, while boys are only allowed to wear trousers. And boys can't have their ears pissed, but it's fine if girls do. And this creates an especially difficult environment for trans children. There's another link in the description, you know how I love filling my description bar with links, to a horrible incident from this summer where a transgender girl was forced to cite the 2010 Equality Act before she was allowed to sit an exam here in the UK. Because they wouldn't let her sit the exam until she went home and changed into the boys' version of the school uniform. All in all, there are a lot of small but really important ways in which applied feminism could make a big difference in schools. And speaking of schools, next weekend, me, Subi and Emily are going to be heading to the UK Feminista Summer School in Bristol. So if you want to join us at the summer school or just meet up with us while we're out and about in Bristol, then check the description for more information about that as well. And other than that, I'll hopefully I actually will see you next Monday. Bye! <laughs>